Okay, so here we have my original bottle. Black fabric inside, duct tape holding on our aluminum foil. And as I said, I figured out I could roll this over, give myself just a little bit more uh, reflector surface. And here we have my partially insulated bottle. We're going to see just how much difference this actually makes. So what I did was I just took some regular household insulation. However, like I said, there's a lot of things out there that make great insulators, such as leaves, grass, straw. Uh, many of these things are really good insulators. A lot of people use them for bedding. Um, so, but this is what I had down here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use that. I just taped it on, made the little uh, flip out reflector piece just like on the other one. So we'll, we'll take our readings on these and find out what actually works best for us. And maybe we can uh, get some of this water pasteurized or maybe we can even get a boil on this water. That's actually what I'm shooting for. I'm hoping that I can get these uh, bottles up to about 250 degrees, which actually would mean that I'm going to have to drill some holes in these caps, obviously, to let the pressure out. And I'm fine with that. That would uh, mean that I'm getting water uh, from whatever stream I need to. I'm filtering it out. I'm putting the water in these bottles. I'm not making smoke. I'm not making the crackling noises from the fire. I'm not making the big light from the fire. People can't smell it. So I'll have drinking water. And really, I haven't used a whole lot of resources, nor have I burned a lot of calories trying to get this done. So thanks. Oh.